The tourism industry has been shattered by the advent of COVID-19. From as early as mid-February, cancellations had been fast and furious across the country as travel bans were imposed and those on vacation in Belize cut their trips short and returned to their respective countries. Feeling the direct impact from the onset of the pandemic were the island destinations of Key Cocker and San Pedro. Belize Rural South Area Representative and Minister of Tourism Manuel Heredia Jr. says that the industry, which contributed about 40% revenue to the country's GDP, has been shot. We already have offered from uh, owners of hotels over here, getting together with the Belize Hotel Association, uh, BTIA, BTB, and putting up some recommendations as to whenever things start to get a little better, we are already in action. You always have to be prepared. You always have to be in the locomotive. I used to say that as uh, the tourism was flourishing, but it is a fragile industry, a hurricane, epidemic or whatever. Today you see this epidemic that we have. We don't know how long, but I personally believe that this season is over. We will probably start to see the light in the next six, seven months. So it is a long haul and everybody has to do its share to make sure that then we can overcome this crisis. But prior to tourism, fishing was the lifeblood of Key Cocker and San Pedro residents. In fact, a large number of persons still thrive off that industry. Data shows that there are approximately 2,700 registered fisher folks in Belize that the fishing sector provides jobs for more than 15,000 Belizeans and accounts for about 3% of the country's GDP. Minister Heredia contends that as a possible solution, those fishers who became tour guides may need to revert to that livelihood to weather the COVID-19 crisis. In the good days of the tourism industry, I used to tell my fellow fishermen, look, don't dedicate all your eggs into one basket, say like that. The day will come, as I mentioned, though the a fragile industry, the day will come when one of these things will hit us, and what do you do next? But they seem to forget, majority of them seem to forget, and you are right, it might be that a month from now, that is what they will have to do, go back to the number one industry in the, before the tourism industry, go back to that industry and then overcome some of the obstacles that we have. Over in Key Cocker, 90% of the economic activity on the island was directly linked to tourism. Chair Lady Seleni Villanueva Putt says that given the inactivity over the past three weeks as a council and working with the residents, fishing is being looked at as a viable alternative for income generation. Some of the fishermen have said outright, you know, this is not the first time we've seen this. We, before tourism, it was strictly fishing and we made it. They said they can resort to fishing. Um, it's just a phase we will have to readjust to in the old days, but I'm sure we will get through it. One resounding message coming from the Belize Rural South Area representative was that the virus is indiscriminate and affects every and anyone, regardless of race, ethnicity, color, or creed. We have to start to learn from this. This is a lesson to us. We have to start to learn. We have to start to live a different type of life. From now on, I believe every single Belizean has to start to live a different kind of life. In the time of plenty, they used to play big life, rich and famous. And when you advise them as to the days of, of a crisis might come, they just used to ignore it. Today we are here, it is not late, but we have to change our style of living from now on. Dwayne Moody for News 5.